My name is Patru Mujidang Shastri. I'm a dancer as well as a drag artist from Hyderabad. My stage name is called as Suffocated Art Specimen. I remember uh, when I was a kid, I watched uh, a Telugu film called as Narsimha, and which was uh, also kind of a dubbed movie from Tamil called as Pariyappan. And uh, in one of the scenes, uh, the heroine, who is uh, Ramya Krishna, is being kind of rejected by the hero. Uh, so she is angry and she screams out loud and dances. So when I saw it for the very first time, I realized, time I realized that you know, if you are angry, you have to scream out loud and dance. And that's how dance was kind of introduced to me. So there are a lot of other dancers who are kind of coming in. Even when I'm dancing, people usually call me as a main dancer. But right now, at this point, uh, why aren't we not talking about other dancers who are not male or female, like you know, being a non-binary person? It's really important for us to see it beyond the idea of gender. So uh, I, I'm not getting bored, I kind of recollect people who kind of use the binary terms and I think we need to invent new terms to include people from all the other spectrum of life. So uh, drag is a way how you present your gender. So it's a, it's a gender book. Now uh, gender is a continuum. It's not something which is male or female or you know white or black. It's something which is kind of flowing from one place to the other. And everybody has their own uh, idea of gender. Or everybody has their own idea of how gender looks. Uh, for drag, I think uh, it was more of a intent to do it uh, in my city. So my city, which is like currently in Hyderabad doesn't have much of a drag scene and uh, my only intent was to ensure that we are getting the drag scene uh, into this particular space and that was my intent of you know starting drag as well so that's how my journey began and um, I still remember June 19, 2019 was when I I was first dressed up in drag and um, um, and uh, it was a small cafe where I expected 21 people to come but there were 200 people coming for, for my very first show and kind of watching it. I think basically uh, there's a wrong notion that drag is something which is western. I think it's something which was there in India for a really long time. And I come with the conclusion about this is because um, you know what I understood of my study is that um, the very first concept of drag was something which was written in Nati Shastra which is around 800 BC. And we get to know about drag in the West only after Shakespeare and Nida. So it might be definitely um, the situation that you know Britishers have come to India and they, they like the concept of drag, they wanted to kind of introduce it into their Western ideologies or white Western theatre and from there drag kind of grew up on the West. However, uh, you know, in India as well, every Indian state has its own form of drag. We don't want to own it, we want to say that okay, it's a different culture and drag just because it looks more like a Western way is why we are kind of buying it. So I think that notion has to change and uh, that's how we can go ahead and uh, redefine the idea of Indian drag. There are a lot of gaps between the ideas of drag. For example, people have a confusion that drag is something which is cross-dressing, which is not the same. And sometimes people also think that drag means are transgender persons, which is also not the same because a trans ability is somebody who is um, who wants to change or alter the gender, whereas drag is just a performance. We take off the wig and we are back to our normal states. So um, those are some of the misconceptions, those gaps which I can see in all the regular pieces which have been asked to me. But I think uh, you know people are changing their learning as well. down as and when I, I just presented myself and I had confidence in me and kind of went. I never kind of um, 
gain the opportunity for us for the other sort of questions. So I was constantly educating people around me. Whatever I was feeling, I was kind of putting it across. And times they were like, you know, initially when you kind of say, say some of the things which you are feeling, there's always a deflation which is usually a part of the society. But I think it gave me uh, a space like I'm privileged to have people around me who are uh, who asks a lot of questions. So I think that is something which was really important and uh, that helped me in carving and kind of coming out of people.